Gorilla Monsoon here at ringside with my colleague Jesse the Body Ventura. That's right, Gorilla. I'm pumped up. I'm here to call it like it is, as Jesse the Body always does. A tremendous happening right here. You won't find any better than you anywhere. Unbelievable. Well, I'll tell you what, Gorilla. I'm pumped up. I'm happy to be a part of it. It's great to be back with you. It's my pleasure to be here with you. Part of this happening. Unbelievable. Here we go. Time for talk is ended. Absolutely. They're ready. They've trained hard. What a matchup right. this is going to be, Gorilla Monsoon. Unbelievable ovation as they're Two. heading off the Raptors. Just take a look at the fantastic spill of the crowd here for this extravaganza. The World Wrestling Four. Federation outdoing itself and presenting this unbelievable part of Five. wrestling. Holy crap. I'm, I'm so excited, Jess. You can, you can feel the electricity in the air here. You can grab a hold of it, touch it, cut it. That's right. It's everything I expected it to be, Gino Matsu. Well, you said that right, Jesse. And this is just an international affair. We're just deluged here by cameramen and newspaper reporters from all over the entire world wanting to cover this event. Boy, it's a happening. This is going to be a classic matchup. You're going to see some Great. tremendous moves in this bout. Speed, agility, knowledge, it's all in there. All the ingredients necessary for a great match. This will separate the men from the boys right here. Well, Gorilla, you can feel the tension right now. This is what it's all come down to. You can cut it with a knife. You can feel the electricity in the air. You're going to see some fine wrestling here. Absolutely. Take a look at the charisma. Take a look at the power pack. Oh, they're both in great shape. Great shape. Oh, i got to do my normal. Hey. Say hi to my four biggest fans in Minneapolis. Terry Tyrell, Jay, and Jeremiah. What are you talking about? I don't know. I never heard you say hello to anybody else before. And you're a long way from home, Halfway across the country. The Prince is watching at my house. Oh, please. He's a big fan. Why? Oh, I understood just that uh, your dog is named Prince. Is that, is that correct? Who? No. Oh. Someone disappointed. You're, you're, you're all full of misinformation, not so. What? We Why? may see some rule breaking here. You like to believe all Two. scientific, but you'll see greed come out. I'll, I'll be surprised, Jess. Three. I'll be surprised. Both men have extremely high character. Four. Uh, <laughs> tremendous respect for I each other. I can feel the volcano Five. getting ready to erupt. You think so? Oh, I can feel at the tension. All right, Jess. How come you don't believe everything I tell you? Because uh, sometimes you're a fountain of misinformation. Never. I'm the man who tells it like it is. Must have had some steam on your lenses. You're worse than Watergate. At that point in time. Yeah, you're How are you going to win if you ain't aggressive? If you enter something, you go after it. What is this? He's also a sportsman, Jess. A sportsman. Sportsmen are only involved in duck hunting and pheasant hunting. <laughs> Not an easy hold to counter, Jeff. He certainly could hurt you in a lot of ways. That, oh, yeah, that's smart wrestling. You know, if you can get your body in the way of that referee, you call it dirty, dirty wrestling. Dirty wrestling, smart wrestling, it's winning wrestling, Gorilla. I don't you dare tell me you never thought no money. I, I may resemble that remark, Jeff. Yeah, I remember you and Jack, Jack Dempsey back in 26. <laughs> Always remember, it ain't how you play the game, it's whether you win or lose. Not exactly what I heard your mom was. What you hear? I, I remember you saying many times you had a shirt made that said, win if you can, lose if you must, but always cheat. That's true, too. No, I thought that was yours. That's true, too. So, but like I said, you know, all spare in love and war. Chad going off from this capacity crowd, USA. Wild bulls. Listen, oh, this is a straight grudge match right here. These two guys just do not like each other. No love lost here. It's going to be a classic confrontation here. 
You got two veteran wrestlers. They, these two guys also just are the type of guys who, if necessary, could wrestle for an hour and a half. Definitely. I'll tell you, these are like two big fat trucks colliding head on. Irresistible force meeting the movable object. Both of these guys will be pulling out all the stops. You can bet on that one. Can you imagine just what's going through the minds of these two individuals? Gorilla, huh? How would you like to be that little referee having to try to contain these two guys? Well, that's where you use the count, Jess. You don't try to physically step between these guys where you can squash like a break. I like to take my time, too. It's a psych-out thing. Absolutely. It's a psych-out. You get your opponent, you get him upset. Just those little added lead edges can be the difference between victory and defeat. Very, very important part of professional wrestling, psychology, and no one knows it any better than my colleague. Very well put, Jesse. Well, it's important the pace of a match. Some guys like a slower pace, other guys like a faster pace. And if you can get your opponent to wrestle at the pace you want to go at, that's to your advantage at all times. You know that as well as I do, Gino. My, my key was never play another man's game, Jess. That's right. You know, make him play your game if at all possible. Don't play it if you can't get either one, then just wing it. That's right. Saw battle going on here, Jess. Definitely a good, good matchup. How quick the momentum can change in professional wrestling in the tide turns, so to speak. If you don't have a basic wrestling knowledge, you can forget about it. That's right, that's right. Unless possibly you're an awesome individual like a King Kong Bundy. Well, I understand that he also has a sandwich of that. That makes it doubly bad. It's like having dynamite with a short fuse. Apparently some damage done to that uh, uh, torn hamstring in there, Jeff. Hamstring Quite muscle or whatever, sure. It happens all the time, plenty of injuries. That's what I talked about. I, I thought it was a stupid move. Well, I, I disagree with you then, and I disagree with you now, Yeah, Jeff. well, look, it apparently he's injured himself. Uh, it happens all the time, Jess. It goes with the territory. Pro break. I understand somebody's in jeopardy of you losing their yacht, Jess. Is that correct? Who? One of your billionaire friends, I don't know. Not Marv. Oh, no. I didn't say it. Did I? Oh, no. I know you like to rub elbows with those guys, Jess. No, 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 no. They like to rub elbows oh. with me. Sorry. Find out all the Hollywood gossip? Sure. I was on the plane the other day with Farrah Fawcett. 